This will be a simulation of the presidential election of 2020. We're going to follow the campaign trail of the four candidates, Biden, Harris, Trump, and Pence. We'll focus on the issues that each candidate is emphasizing, and we'll try to predict the outcome of this election with the political machine on Legendary Tactics. Biden faces Trump in presidential matchup. All right. Yes. All right. So Trump went right away to the lovely state of Wisconsin. Excellent. That's exactly. So, I think we know why they went to Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, and he gave a speech there to the military folks. 47 days from now, we're going to win Wisconsin, and we're going to win four more years in the White House. This is oh you you went to the military folks so uh, Biden um, talked about the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, spoke with Jacob Blake's family. What I saw in that video makes me sick. Once again, a black man, Jacob Blake, has been shot by the police in broad daylight with the whole world watching. You know, I spoke to Jacob's mom and dad, sister, and other members of the family just a little bit earlier, and I told them justice must and will be done. So there's nothing exactly. So what I'm going to actually do is uh, the closest that I that option it gives me is um, either fighting ISIS or securing the borders. What would you say is closer to the military? Uh, maybe veterans. Yeah, maybe securing. Well, fighting ISIS. Either either one I think fits quite well. Yeah, let's do. Uh, we'll do fighting ISIS. That seems closer. We don't really have uh, the Black Lives Matter. Oh, that gave me a three percent bump. Okay, I mean, it gave Trump a three percent bump. <laughs> I'm going to go with another issue that Biden focuses on, which is election integrity. And that countered it. Okay, and then down to North Carolina. Where are you? Okay, so Biden actually, for me, stayed in Wisconsin. He did a second speech. Ooh, I've run out of gas World already. World War II veterans. Uh, he was, uh, oh, I can't give the speech, though. Not enough stamina, so I'll have to just stay there to do my speech tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah, so it looks like Biden was talking at a school event, and he also focused, he went to Kenosha, also in Wisconsin, and focused on Black Lives Matter. So uh, I'm going to... Interesting, because that's that was exactly the city that uh, Trump came from, was Kenosha. That's right, yes. So it's going to be a big battle there. Following hot on his heels. So I think yeah, I'll go so with reducing here. the wealth gap. I think that um, would reflect that issue as well. Yep, that's a good one. And uh, fighting ISIS, I believe, would be in North Korea. Like he, he, again, it was to vets of World War II. Yes. Or they liked it. And Trump is definitely oh, focusing on security and law enforcement. Oh, and now the great state of Pennsylvania. This, I, I have a feeling this is going to be a hotbed of... of oh, uh, uh, my trip also takes me to Pennsylvania. Oh, boy. Both? Well, um, Biden's in Harrisburg. Where are you? Uh, so, uh, Trump went to La Trobe. Oh, okay. La Trobe, Pennsylvania. And it, this was a general rally. So I think, um, uh, with a general rally, I might also just include some fundraising because we will need money. We're going to run out of money. So when, uh, if it's a little more general, I might just do a, a fundraising activity. Definitely. So uh, we're looking at... Myself some extra cash is here. So Biden addressed America's unions on the... 7th year of August. So it looks like probably I'm going to I'm going to go for coal mining. That's the closest Ooh, they liked it. there. Oh, that was Trump went back to North Carolina, gave another speech. What did he talk about this time? He talked it was another airport rally. Well, this time I will do a one of his uh one of his general themes which was religious freedom. So this game see if this, uh, struck a chord. Oh, it struck a positive chord. Ooh, that's looking good for Trump. This game seems to be giving Trump more stamina, which is actually accurate because Trump, uh, up until uh, the recording of this game today, is October 21st. Uh, Trump has made, I think, about four more uh, visits than, than Biden has. So, so yeah, You will never believe. Trump went to Florida and gave a speech on... Protecting the Everglades. Oh, okay. How environmentally uh, now, conscious. 
in, environmentalist. Interesting though, he does not have anything. They don't. They get the closest they really have would be Zika funding. They don't have anything specific to um, sure, sure, yeah, to environment. So I'm in Michigan with Biden now. He's in Detroit, and he spoke to the steel workers. So we're going to talk about fixing infrastructure. Saginaw, Michigan. Now, are we going to I play believe... with operatives, or shall we just ignore those to try and keep it a little more? Sorry, what was that? Uh, this game offers us the option of operatives. Shall we just leave those out for the simulation? I think we'll leave operatives out for now. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it would become a little more convoluted with with off operatives. Sure. Although it yeah. would add some spice to the game and some. Uh, some intrigue. I just think it might be if, if it, it it wouldn't be as purest for yeah, us. Yeah, let's try and keep it as true as possible. We want an accurate prediction here, as accurate as this game will provide. So, yep, yeah, once again, Biden is out of stamina. Oh, and Trump is making the rounds. He is over all the way over to Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Well, and that makes sense because um, this would be a 9/11 commemoration <laughs> for. Uh, Yes, it would. And so fighting ISIS is just right up his alley for that one. Definitely. And so we'll do the same fighting ISIS. Well, we fight ISIS as well. And, uh, New York was the next port of call, but I am once again out of stamina. Nevada. Okay, let's see what he wants. He, what, again, this was just an airport rally, so we'll do another. Uh, one of his big uh, issues has been the um, uh, the election integrity. So we will put that one into the speech out in Nevada, Interesting. which they enjoy. Okay. Yes, Biden has been focusing on election integrity as well. That seems to be a hot button issue with the mail-in well, voting. He stayed out in Nevada for a second rally campaign at a manufacturing facility. Oh. Okay, so we will. Okay, news wrap up. We'll do a, Pennsylvania gets a like personal visit activity. and a pep talk from Trump. Okay. So we had a commemoration in New York for 9 11 as well. I'm still working my way through the order there. So fighting ISIS, I think, would be. Focus. Oh, and he went to California on the wildfires. But he has to stop. Biden. Let's take a break here. Biden has yet. Oh, he takes an early lead, Biden does, but he has yet to visit the West Coast. He is focusing exclusively on the East. Northeast, especially. The environment, the wildfires. So Biden's first visit to Florida, and he's focusing on Hispanic heritage. Uh, he's going to Kissimmee, Florida, and Tampa, and he's also talking at a veterans roundtable. Trump is heading down to sunny Arizona, where he is in a Latinos for Trump campaign event. Okay. Well, let's see what we can garner for this one here. Securing the borders. <laughs> That's kind of that would be kind of an ironic one. <laughs> but it actually might even be the closest. I don't see anything Latinos for Trump event here. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do securing the borders. These are Oh, and they liked it. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of Republican red over there. So Biden is actually gonna hang out in Florida for, for two turns. Now, the one thing this game doesn't allow at the moment is Kamala Harris is also on the trail at this point, and so she would have visited Milwaukee. I think when she joins, I'll actually have her um, in, in, in the same order that she actually visited. So she went Milwaukee, Florida, Virginia, California, Pennsylvania, and that would take her up to about this point in the game. I have been skipping a lot of uh, I was I've been skipping all of Mike Pence's stops too because he was already on board so right yes uh, as well we just haven't been able to get to his stops so once so. once they join we can get them into the action as well exactly so another airport rally in Moosonee, Moosin, Wisconsin so let's do one another one of his big issues which was 
in, uh, well, let's do uh, reducing the wealth gap. I think he definitely. So of the office fame, Biden is in Scranton and he's at a CNN town hall. It didn't specifically say what he was speaking about, but uh, let's say it's about, um, I could either do reducing the wealth gap or election integrity. So I think we'll do, if it's CNN, he's probably discussing the wealth gap. Right, that was the, was that the town hall where he, um, in, that replaced the second debate? Oh, uh, that could be. Uh, I'm on, uh, actually, no, I'm on, I'm only on September 19th right now. Okay, I'm, I'm on, to, I'm on the 18th, so we're pretty close. I'm on, okay, oh, very good. Yeah, so I'm on, uh, I'm Fayetteville, North Carolina for an airport rally. What's he speaking about there? Uh, it was just an airport rally, so it could be any one of a number of issues. Uh, religious freedom would be one that he'd be harping on, though. Oh, okay. Now, I am in Duluth, Minnesota, and it's got the exact issue that he was talking about, which was state unions. So um, he was at a union training center here. So that, that works favorably. Oh, boy. And then Trump went to Ohio. He's trying to... He actually made two stops in Ohio. He made a stop at the uh, American Workers and an airport rally. So we'll, uh, we'll do a couple speeches there next turn here. Okay. Weekly news wrap-up. Okay. All right, so. So manufacturing. What's on manufacturing? Uh, reducing the wage gap, the wealth gap, that would be one that would be... So Biden is actually in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and he's talking about the Supreme Court vacancy, which in 2016 wasn't an issue, but um, we'll call that election integrity. Oh, Pennsylvania is looking very solidly. Now, in uh, he favor. did make a uh, Trump did make a stop, a, a second stop uh, in Swanton, Ohio. Uh, it was an airport rally, and uh, one of the options gives is probing Hillary's emails, but I think we could also include Hunter yes. Biden in this one. So we'll just say, even though it's Hillary, we'll call that Hunter, Hunter Biden's. Yes, that's perfect. So Biden has returned to Man Manitowoc, Wisconsin. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And he's at an aluminum manufacturing facility here. So quite a bit of focus on the economy. Rally in Ooh. Pittsburgh. So I've rested so much that my maximum Sorry, Moon, health has increased. Moon Township, Pennsylvania. And he would be talking about coal mining. That's one thing he loved to talk about up there. Ha. Didn't do much to turn your, your hard state blue. Oh, boy. No, Wisconsin is looking pretty good at this point. Trump has really been uh, focusing on North Carolina a lot here. Actually, now. that is where Biden is heading next. And this was at a, in a uh, American America First Healthcare. Event. That's the yeah. What day was that? Uh, it was uh, nine twenty four. So that would be September twenty four. Okay, so the day before Biden was there at the exact same place. I don't see anything really relevant to that, so I'll just call it state unions. We're potentially uh, reducing wealth gap, maybe. Right. Oh, they liked it. Wow. They okay. liked what they were listening to. Well, wait, wait till they hear Biden, what he has to say. We'll see if it changes their minds. Okay, the running mates are here. Okay, so we are going to bring in Mike Pence, of course, as the Republican. So I did create a Kamala Harris character. The game didn't let me save her. So instead, I'll have to play with uh, Michelle, Michelle Obama. Yeah, they, I think they share some similar beliefs. Discussion that continues on a discussion that I've, I've been having throughout my visit today in Milwaukee. It's about talking about the um, dignity of work and the dignity of human beings and, and, and the importance of leadership to then 
tap into that dignity in a way that we grow capacity. And that's about capacity in individuals, that's about capacity in communities, and ultimately that means about growing the capacity of our country. I think I may, I may send her on a similar path, so I'm going to start her in Milwaukee. You're going to start her where from the beginning? Yeah, I think I'll start her from the beginning just because she didn't have as many stops, so I think by the end she may actually catch up. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just run it right from this point from where where Pence was. Sure. And, yeah. Uh, he went to New Hampshire. Oh, actually, let's finish Trump here. So he did a speech in Florida. It was an airport rally. One of his issues is Social Security, the 401ks. He keeps going on about Pence. went to New Hampshire, a lovely state of New Hampshire. Now, President Trump and I know the men and women of law enforcement are some of the best people in this country. They put their lives on the line every single day. They literally count our lives more important than their own. And those who serve on the thin blue line of law enforcement deserve the respect of every American every single day. Yeah, Trump certainly does seem to have extra movement. Oh, but Biden is leading still. Okay, this is interesting. So Biden is going to pay a visit to Ohio. He'll be in Cleveland, and that's actually the presidential debate. And Pence spoke about... New Hampshire, he gave an airport rally. Funding NASA, oh, he does like to talk about Trump went to... Has, has Trump managed to make it to the presidential debate in Ohio yet? Virginia. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, so I might be a little ahead of you there. Virginia here. I'll, I'll wait for you for the debate, and then we can continue from there. Okay. Uh, and he gave a speech as an airport rally, so we'll do that. And he would have talked about a strong military. That is definitely a, his... And then he went to uh, Georgia. Where he spoke about black and economic empowerment. Can't do it yet, though. You must be a little ahead of me here. I think so, yeah. I'm on uh, September the 25th right now. Okay, yep. Yeah, so I'm on the 29th. But, Reducing uh, wealth gap. I think that's as close as I'm going to get to... Uh, black empowerment of the econ economy and they did like it and then back to Florida for the Latinos for Roundtable Latinos Roundtable oh there's nothing we'll have to just do one of his main issues funding NASA he did like to talk about NASA And then an airport rally in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is probably the most visited state, it seems, by both leaders. The yes, Pennsylvania has been a definite theme in this election. Uh, coal mining, reduce, it was just an airport rally, so this is going to be another one. We'll do... Uh, We'll do, coal, we'll do the coal miners. He loves talking about the coal miners. It's a battleground state. <laughs> okay. So Kamala Harris has visited Fairfax, Virginia. That was for the 9-11 event, so it's just a little behind time. So then he went to Cleveland, Ohio. First presidential debate. Okay, so... Oh, so we have caught up on the timeline. Show up and vote. 
You will determine the outcome of this election. Vote, vote, vote. If you're able to vote early in your state, vote early. If you're able to vote in person, vote in person. Vote whatever way is the best way for you, because you will. He cannot stop you. Mr. President, two minutes. So when I listen to Joe talking about a transition, uh, there's been no transition from when I won. I won that election. And if you look at crooked Hillary Clinton, if you look at all of the different people, uh, there was no transition because they came after me trying to do a coup. They came after me spying on my campaign. They started from the day I won and even before I won, from the day I came down the escalator with our first lady. Yep. Uh, and Mike Pence just has to go to uh, Florida. Littitz. Oh, sorry. It's not Florida. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Sorry, Pennsylvania as well. Okay. We have our first West Coast visit from Kamala Harris in California. She's he did a speech here. Uh, and we'll say Hunter, Hunter Biden's again, although it is Hillary's. Okay. So now how do we work this? Uh, is there, there is no actual debate, is there here now? No, no, we don't have... Okay, but we both we both do meet up in uh, in Ohio for that first debate. That's right. Yeah. So, and then we say sayonara, and Trump heads to Michigan. Sorry, Minnesota. So Kamala Harris is where where Pence is as well. There, she's visiting Pennsylvania. She was actually speaking to the women leaders and Latino leaders at that event. She just came from Fresno, California, California, and she was talking about the wildfires there. Pence heads back to Georgia, where he is going to do a campaign rally. He will bring up farm subsidies. Oh, yes, that'll be popular. So Biden's in Michigan again. And we've got Kamala Harris, also visited Michigan oh, on the 22nd. Iowa. The lovely state of Iowa. So Kamala Harris was in Michigan talking to the black community about shop talk and, uh, and getting out to vote. And then she popped over to Flint, Michigan uh, to take a tour of the black owned businesses there. Then she headed down to North Carolina. I mean, she's pretty busy here. That was in Raleigh. And uh, there was a discussion on the Supreme Court vacancy with black women there. So my Kamala Harris has almost caught up to Biden. So I'm doing all oh, Florida like to hear about the senior citizens. Oh, they did. I'm doing a lot of talking about um, uniting the nation and about election integrity. Or uh, Biden, I should say, is doing that. <laughs> exactly. Oh, election integrity. So Kamala Harris is going to pay a visit to Utah, Salt Lake City. And this is for the VP debate, so I'll wait. Um, how long until Pence arrives there? Uh, what day would that be? Oh, that's the 7th. Okay. Uh, of October. So that's actually getting fairly recent here. Oh, yes. Okay, that actually was my next stop. So here we go. We'll go out and meet you there. Perfect. And we've got Biden coming out to Tempe, Arizona and Phoenix, Arizona. And he's talking to small businesses and also Indian tribal leaders and the Carpenters Union. So quite a few different uh, visits there. Trump heads to Iowa. Next turn. Oh, the battleground state. Oh, they really like that one. Wow, I can't believe. So now neither. Trump is uh, is due to go to um, Florida for the the uh, the town hall. 
So I'm on my town hall with Trump, so he'll be there until you are able to... Okay, just wait for me there. So I'm on uh, Erie, Pennsylvania right now on rebuilding the economy. So much time spent in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Pence makes a stop over to Michigan. And then P Pence again goes down to Florida. Okay. He is a busy man. It seems like Kamala Harris takes off um, quite a few days here. She isn't doing actually much <laughs> travel at all. Interesting, really. Yeah, I'm not sure what she was up to during that time. but uh, So we're in Ohio now, Cincinnati, Ohio, and we're going to talk about the economy. He did give a speech here, so we will do a campaign rally speech in Florida on funding for NASA. So what I'm doing, if a leader spends two days in, in a city, I do a speech first, and then I'm leaving some advertising behind just to leave a mark there. Oh, I see. Okay, I haven't been doing that. I've just been giving a second speech. Yeah. But... Okay, that works too. Okay, so I'm down to Florida now. So this is for the 13th. That actually could change things a little bit because I haven't been doing that, but... Well, I guess if, if you're doing a second speech, that, that offsets it somewhat, so. Uh, you think so? All right. Yeah, so I, I think speeches... Because mine's a one-time bump. Yours will be a slow trickle. That's right. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, yeah, because I see a lot of yours have turned... Now, you put it... Did you put a headquarter? No, those are... We, we haven't built headquarters, no, I guess, at all, eh? That, so. Okay. Uh, so Pence goes to Pennsylvania. Huh. Oops, that was Ohio. We'll scoot you over there instead. That's all right. They have been spending their fair share of time in Pennsylvania. Okay. So week 21 of 26. This is actually going to be just about perfect. So I'm down to Florida, so are we on to the 13th now? I'm on the 17th of October here. Oh, okay, so I've just fallen a little behind you here. And then Trump did an airport rally in Wisconsin. Yeah, Biden doesn't seem to have enough stamina to do two speeches, so does have enough money. Well, it, 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 that is par for how he's been doing it. As Trump would say, hiding in his basement, maybe recuperating. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine at 77 years old doing what I know. he's doing. That's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean, same for Trump. I mean, and especially when he's recovering from COVID as well. I mean, it's, it's yeah. quite arduous. Yeah. Religious freedom. That's a big thing. Oh, fixing infrastructure. Actually, that's one he talks about, too. Back and to Pennsylvania. to Nevada. It's funny how he's been focused on out Nevada a couple times there. Mm -hmm. Spend some time out there. He does a rally. We'll do uh, reducing unemployment. In Maine. He's going to Maine. This looks like it's going to come down to the wire. I mean, when we normally play this, we try to get to just about every state, right? I mean, if it's gray, we just pop in for a visit. But they're really targeting their efforts, I'm noticing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That being said, I, I haven't seen. I, I know Trump went to Texas. I haven't seen him. Haven't seen his stop to Texas yet. But right. Okay. Arizona. He gives a speech in Arizona. 
Oh, gun rights, that's a big one he talks about a lot. And then he does a second speech in Arizona. Let's give a different topic here. Uh, securing the borders. So I am almost up to the present day. The 18th, we ended in... Oh, I am on the present day right now. Perfect, okay. So I've run out of stamina, but I will end in North Carolina on the 18th, which was two days ago. Wow, Florida, it is hanging in the balance. Okay, so now what do we do here? I'm, I'm up to present day. Perfect. Let's just hold tight. We'll just skip our turns and see where this takes us then. Okay. Um, I do actually have Kamala Harris uh, visited Jacksonville, Florida on the 19th. Not sure if that'll make enough difference there. And she actually spoke about early voting there. All right, so let's just rush our turns through. Comes down to the wire. This is going to be close. I mean, I know the polls show in real life that Biden is leading by a good margin, but that's what they said in 2016 too. So you can't count yep. Trump out until it's over. You never can count that fella. And here we go. Let's see how this turns. Red, blue, blue, blue. Oh boy. 37, 20, oh, okay. Excellent. It's, it's sort of back and forth now. That's right. Oh, and we Biden need has jumped out. 270 votes to win. Oh, Biden took Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. That was huge. And Ohio. Those are big wins for him. Florida went oh, to Trump, Oh, but though. Trump took Florida. That brought him back considerably. Okay. Florida was a, a linchpin. But I don't know. Is it going to be enough? Ooh, 178. He is creeping up. Although, I mean, California is going to make a huge difference. The Midwest should go a lot of, a lot wow, of. Wow, it is. Look at this: one seventy-eight to one seventy. Two hundred eight. Trump pulls ahead. Oh, Trump is really two twenty-six. Wow. Two twenty-nine. He is just two thirty-two. Oh my goodness! This is coming down to the wire here. Yeah. Although we do know California is going to swing things if Biden could win that. Could be enough. 261. 261. Oh, boy. This is going to be really close. Oh, wow. 270 to 268. 268. It cannot be any closer than that. That is unbelievable. <laughs> now, will Trump yield to the uh, peaceful transition of power. That's right. We're not sure, but this campaign trail simulation really shows both Biden and Trump focusing on, I think, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Biden was really focusing on mobilizing voters, winning the support of the union, securing, securing minority voters. And I think, what, what would you say Trump was focusing on mostly? Uh, Trump was focused on uh, his track record with the wall. He was focused on his uh, on uh, increased um, uh, money for uh, general since the last four years and, and their increased in uh, amounts of money they've had. Uh, he's focused on uh, the military. He's focused on law enforcement and he's focused on cancel culture. Right. Yep. So if this simulation is accurate, the next president of the United States will be Joe Biden. If you enjoyed this simulation, consider giving us a like and a subscription. And thanks for joining us.